Goldman Sachs upping its forecast for the price of gold for the coming months. And by the way, J.P. Morgan jumping in this party, too, saying that gold will jump to as much as $1,400 an ounce, that that's in the cards for the precious metal this year. Peter Schiff, you know him. He's been bullish on gold when it was down, when it was up. He's joining me now on Euro Pacific Capital. What's your fund? What are your investments up, uh, I guess, year to date? Well, the gold investments are obviously doing the best. You know, interesting. Well, to find the best, yeah. up well, how much? Well, doubled or more. I mean, Goldman Sachs today came out and upgraded Newmont Mining from a hold to a buy. Newmont has already doubled this year, and now they're saying buy it. And their price You're target. They're late. Well, they're, they're actually not late because I think it's going much, much higher. But their price target is only 10% above the current price. I mean, why let it double and then try to get the last 10% if that's all you think? But this is just getting started. These gold stocks are just recovering ground they never should have lost. You know, I don't know why anybody is surprised at these bad numbers coming out of Macy's. The retailers have been reporting horrible sales all year. The consumer is broke. We are back in recession. That's why Trump is a preventive nominee. That's why Bernie Sanders is beating Hillary Clinton in all these primaries, because the voters know how awful this economy is. They don't have any money left Can to I spend. Can I just jump in, though? Jim Murren of MGM was just here with us, and he said he's having the best year for MGM, which owns the Bellagio. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, oh, the Cirque du Soleil, the whole thing, yeah. the big fights, yeah. Manny Pacquiao, and, and yeah. well, a lot of a lot of these. He said they're doing the best they've done yeah. since even before well, the financial crisis. A lot of the people that are coming here are foreigners, and they've got money. There's wealthy people, and look, sometimes when people are desperate, they go to Vegas and they they, they gamble because <laughs> they got nothing, no, no other hope. This, if, if this economy wasn't a disaster, Trump wouldn't have the support that he does. Neither would Bernie Sanders. This is a phony recovery. That is what's going to happen. That is the next big thing. Is when the Fed has to capitulate and acknowledge that we're back in recession because that's the last thing Janet Yellen wants to do. How, how, can I ask you, how is 17 million cars sold on an annualized basis a phony economy? Because it's a bubble. You look at the terms that these cars are being sold on and of course a lot of young people are buying cars because they still live with their parents. Hold on. And that's, that's the only thing they can afford. And you know a lot of people are living out of their cars. Peter, yeah. <laughs> what is the next big danger to this economy? Well I just said I think it's going to be the revelation that the recession is already, or the recovery is over, and we're back in recession, and that instead of rate hikes, the Fed is going to cut. The Fed's going to do QE4, right. and they may even go negative. Suddenly, and that's, you got your gold dress on okay, for a reason. Okay, just, we just hit new session lows a second ago. Uh, Peter Schiff, thank you so much. Peter is a much in-demand person here at the SALT conference.